Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today, once again, we are in another incredible vehicle provided to us by none other than the guys at Prestige Marks. Today, it is a Range Rover Sport SDV6 with the HSE package. Now, let me explain that name to you guys. Range Rover Sport, we're all familiar with it. It has now matured itself into one of the real Range Rovers. This is the easiest way for you to jump off of the streets within the suburbs onto off-roading. SDV6 is sports diesel V6 engine, so it's got a lot of punch when you kick this pedal down to the metal this car does take off but you're not buying it let's be real forward speed it does do 0 to 100 in a respectable 6.8 seconds so nothing to scoff at there and then we've got HSE which is the high standard equipment took me a while to get that myself but high standard equipment nothing in this car is cheap they have skimmed out on nothing and we're going to talk more about the interior of the car in a moment but let's talk about the ride super comfortable this car is all about comfort and about off-roading so you've got your auto gear selector here and it'll take you through your different drive modes from gravel to your bumps to your real off-roading and then to dynamic or even auto where it selects it by itself now talking about the drive mode selector let's move on to the gearbox this car comes with an eight speed automatic gearbox as well as air suspension so comfort is name of the game like i mentioned being a diesel it eats up the miles dead silent inside this car but let's talk about what other features it comes with you've got your digital dials in front of you as well as a huge center screen you've got cameras all over even a junction camera and this is quite a big car it's a hefty car even though it doesn't feel it when you're driving it you can easily take notice of it you can take notice just on how high you are off the road i love it but when you come up to a stop street or a junction it has got junction cameras which means there's a camera both on the front left of the vehicle and the front right of the vehicle so if you're on a blind corner or blind junction in this case you can press that button and immediately you can see from the nose of the car what's to your left and to your right again entertainment it's dead silent in this car but if you wanted some entertainment if you want to listen to some good music you've got a meridian sound system with what i believe is eight speakers situated around the car massive sunroof with a sunshade and it does open generally cars with sunroofs this big normally they don't open this one opens right up you can let as much air in as you want easily you'll fit a family of four in here with plenty of space but you can option that instead of that boot space you can have two occasional seats but really if that's the case i'd rather say save your money and get yourself a discovery now this range rover this stv6 hse what comes with this hse package well you've got your 20 inch alloys outside you'd never think a car like this rides so comfortably on 20 inch rims you've got a full sized spare in the boot which is also something very very rare then some of the cooler features is the meridian sound system as i've mentioned you've got your tri-zone climate control so both you your passenger and whoever's sitting in the back seat can set your climate control to exactly what you like you've got heated front seats and what is super cool and it's the first car we've ever done that's got this is in the center glove box you've got your very own fridge so if you want to keep your drinks cold on those long journeys you've got your fridge right there in the center again your front seats are automatic powered and what's really cool is when you jump in this car when you put your car off the steering wheel raises and your seat lowers making it easy to get out the car then when you get back into the car and you start it your seat raises and your steering wheel comes back down to the positions you set it which makes getting into and getting out of these cars super easy but what makes it even easier is because this car's got air suspension if you press this button right here in the center you can turn it to three different modes one is easy access mode which is jumping into the car you can make it a little bit easier if you're picking up your grandmother if maybe you've got a couple of injuries you can make it really easy to get into this car because this button lowers the car to its lowest setting so you can get into it and out of it then you press it once more you go into your normal setting and once again you go into off-road setting which raises this car to its maximum height and really if you feel like you want to be in a big car this is the car for you but let's catch some driving shots let me show you the exterior and then we are off to show you a house in Sandown for 8 million plus guys you're gonna love this home hey 
And here we are outside the car and I wanted to take a moment and show you a couple of the really cool features on the exterior of the car. The first are these hood vents and these allow this car to have a much higher wading depth. So, if a river floods near you or one of the highways, specifically during the summer rains, you don't need to worry about this. You can cruise right through it. It's going to do nothing to the car. It's going to do nothing to the engine. You also got a close-up look here of those 20-inch alloys. Some really cool exterior styling details are these vents as well. And then we've got these mirrors here, which are smart mirrors. It includes your blind spot monitoring as well as auto dimming. My next favorite feature, especially for us guys wearing pants, is if you open the door, you'll see the bottom of the door extends all the way down, which means that this here is not going to get dirty, specifically when you jump in. Really like that. But carrying on, one of the other features, you've got your privacy glass over here, and then automatic opening and automatic closing of your tailgate with a cargo shutter. You've got your auto opening as well as auto closing tailgate with a rear cargo privacy shutter. Another cool thing about the back here is you've also got a charging port. So if you've got some stuff you'd like to charge, some equipment, maybe you're a cameraman, maybe you're my cameraman, you can charge everything in the back of your car away from prying eyes. Stick with us because today we have got so much more to show you. And here we are, we've hopped out the Land Rover and we've come inside this incredible home right here in Morningside. And what incredible home doesn't start with a two meter tall frosted glass door. I mean, take a look at that door. It looks absolutely stunning. I love how it looks and I love walking through it. But if you think that's epic, wait until you see the rest of this home. So right here, we're standing in the entrance hall and we're moving straight off into the kitchen and take a look at this space. It is incredible. I love this floating island with this veined marble everywhere. It looks incredible. Probably the nicest marble I've ever seen in a house. We've then got this pewter tap, again, with a pull out for your shower. If you want to clean a couple of dishes, if you want to rinse some fruit, you can do this all year. The real sink where the action happens, that is in the back and we're going to show you that in a moment. But this marble continues through even as a splashback over this five burner smeg stove. And you know what, we've shown you a lot of smeg. We've done it in nearly every single house, but how incredible is this burner oven combo with your smeg extractor here, more of that marble, some space for wine, and then just above us, we've got the first of a few of the wrought iron touches throughout this home. There's so much wrought iron. The staircase is one of my favorite pieces, but we'll show you that in a moment. But here we go, three wrought iron chandeliers, bringing so much class into this kitchen. But follow me over here, we've got a continuation of smeg. A smeg fridge, beautiful, real classy, it feels hefty, it feels nice, it feels expensive and everything in this home I'm sure is very expensive. We've got the first out of all the smeg we've shown you, a smeg microwave and look at this, that's when you fancy. You don't push a button, you touch a button. But carry on in here, plenty of undercover storage, we've got more counter storage here and then we've got your display cabinet with inset lighting. So if you've got nice glassware, if you've got things you want to show off, that's exactly where you're going to put it. And right here, we've got your scullery slash your pantry. So coming in here, this is exactly where all your appliances are going to be. This is where you're going to keep your baked goods, where you're going to keep your canned goods. You've got your inset double sink here. Also, quite a pretty sink, I'm not going to lie. More cupboards over there. And that is the kitchen. But before we leave, there's a door right over here that leads off into your garage. So you're never going to be walking in the rain. We're here in Morningside, guys. We're super fancy. You're going to come right off into your pantry and walk into your beautiful eight and a half million rand home in the heart of Morningside. But let's move off into the lounge area. Here we are. 
Talk about double volume ceilings. This must be extra length double volume ceilings. So much space here. I'm surprised I'm not getting an echo. There's windows inset all the way in the top, bringing in so much natural light. We've got stackable doors leading you off into your patio so you can enjoy your pool and the expanse of ground. There's so much ground, just so much space. But here we are. I mean, you can see exactly how much space is here. This is all about comfort. This is also a place that I'd say is perfect to entertain because you've got so much access to talk to people in your kitchen, to talk to people out on your patio, to talk to people that are enjoying your sitting room area. But here it is, one of my favorite features out of any home I've ever, ever showcased. And this is this wrought iron marble staircase. You're gonna feel like Cinderella or Prince Charming walking up and down the staircase. Look at how extra this staircase is, it is extravagant at its finest. I love it and we're gonna go upstairs shortly. But let's show you what remains in this four bedroom, four bathroom house in Morningside. So follow me, let's take a look at the bedrooms. So this bedroom we've got here could also be converted into an office space. I think this is one of the few bedrooms that make a perfect office. And the reason for that is not only the size of it, but also let's take a look at this. Let me swivel around here, look. At this patio you have access to. So you can set your desk up right there and you've got the beautiful greenery behind you. You've got this tree, you've got lighting, you've got so much outside access. And we all know when those work emails are driving you crazy to sit and listen to the birds chirping, smell the fresh air. That's the exact type of relaxation you need. But let's take a look at the other downstairs bedrooms. Here we are within this bedroom here. And this, I would say, makes a perfect guest bedroom. You've got beautiful window leading out into your outside ground the green fields, the blue pool really makes for an awesome view. You've got plenty of cupboard space and easy access to the kitchen and the lounge area. This is exactly where I'd throw any of my guests coming to stay open for a weekend. So walking into the first bathroom, it's perfectly positioned to not only service the bedrooms within the hallway, but also all of your guests that come to visit. This bathroom has a very cool feature, and that is the infinity mirror. When you switch that on, you'll see those lights ring that mirror and give you that infinity effect. It is so cool. But again, marble cladding all over the bathroom, ultra high end, blacked out finishes above the toilet. Nothing about this house doesn't scream luxury living at its finest. Now the second bathroom within this hallway is a little bit special and a little bit different. The first thing you'll notice is it's got a shower included in it, but this is a wet bathroom, which means no walls around the shower. You're gonna get here, you're gonna have your shower. It's a wet bathroom. Anybody who's ever visited some of the Asian countries, specifically Thailand, you guys are very familiar with what wet bathrooms are all about. And here we are within the first main bedroom of the downstairs area, again, a bedroom of this quality comes with all the standards, plenty of cupboard area, drawers, as well as stackable glass doors that lead you out onto that extra length patio outside. You can always enjoy the outsides within this house. Then we've got beautiful bathroom behind us, which I'm going to tour. But before we do that, take a look at this bed. This is the kind of bed you want to relax. And you know what? I have to give it a go. Let's see. So this bathroom right here is right off your first main bedroom within the downstairs area. And this bathroom, extra size, just for, or suitable should I say, for a main bedroom of this caliber. You've got your sunken bathtub, you've got two vanities, extra wide mirror, as well as a view out into the same green area that you saw when we toured the office space. You've also got a toilet and like any ultra luxury mansion within Santon, you've got your bidet. Are you even living in luxury unless you've got a bidet? But I love the window access. The shower with a glass wall as well gives you perfect access while you're showering, while you're enjoying yourself to look out onto your garden and just unwind and relax from the stresses of the day. Come on, let's go. So here we are within an area that could easily be an informal dining room area or even a formal dining room area. And the reason I say that is not only has it got such easy access off of the kitchen, but also if we open up these sliding doors. Give me a moment. Give me another moment. There we go. Third time lucky. 
So your stackable glass doors open right up to your outside area that includes a bry area. So we're gonna come out here, we're gonna tour this outside area, I'm gonna show you what the patio and what the outside grounds look like and then we are going to the creme de la creme, you guys know it, it's upstairs and it is the master suite. And here it is, an extra, extra large patio. I love what they've done outside here. You feel like you've got plenty of space for entertainment, for brying, and then you've also got so much greenery out here. If you want to put down a fire pit or a boma, this garden is for you. We've got a trampoline over there for the kids to play with. I'm going to be bouncing on that afterwards. And look at this pool. It's shaped like a beautifully round jelly bean. But I love the rock features, the little bit of greenery in the pool as well. You know it must be a saltwater pool then. Blue, stunning. It makes me think of sunny days, which today definitely is not. But sunny days out at the pool with some cocktails and some friends, you know you're going to be living your best life right here in Morningside. So follow me. Let's go and take a look at that master bedroom upstairs. Look at the balcony. That is a hint of how good this is going to be. And here we are, my favorite piece. Let's take a trip up the staircase. Marble, wrought iron railings. You've got your floor illuminated by that down lighting. Oh, I absolutely love it. Upstairs is a sitting room slash pajama lounge that is also milked and framed by so much wrought iron and it's beautiful wrought iron as well. You've got a front view, a front seat view of your chandeliers hanging here as well. And then out of these windows, you've got a two-story view of your green grounds. But like I said, this could be a pajama lounge, this could be another informal lounge. And another really cool feature here that I've just noticed is right over here in the corner, you've got yourself a floor to ceiling window. So if you ever want to know who's visiting you coming down your beautifully played driveway, you can see it right from here. On the right hand side of your upstairs wing, you've got what is currently being used as office space. It could also be another bedroom or even a kid's play area. You've got views of your green, expansive downstairs garden, as well as, again, you can see your paved driveway all the way outside. The views out the sliding doors through the balcony are probably my favorite, as you can see Northcliffe Hill over the treetops, specifically on a clear day. So before you even get to that beautiful glass front door, you come through a wrought iron gate with gold filigree down your paved driveway into this beautiful garden. Off to your left hand side, you'll see a double garage there to store your vehicles. And then you are right at your front door. So let's go take a look at like, I like to call it the creme de la creme, the master suite. It's right over there. Let's go. And here we are, what I like to call the creme de la creme. This is a master suite, beautiful master suite. You'll see throughout this home that has just gone under construction. Everything here is brand new. We've still got plastic on these hanging brass chandeliers. If you're buying this home, you know you're buying something that is brand spanking new, even though it's already been lived in. This master suite, stunning. I love the wraparound balcony. And this wraparound balcony leads all the way through into the pajama lounge. So you know you've got access there. Again, you've got the views of the ground, beautiful views of the ground. But there's also a walk-in wardrobe. So let's close this door and let's go take a look. And here we are, walk-in wardrobe that you can access from either side of the bedroom. Plenty of space here. There's literally nobody who's got enough clothes other than the owner of this home to fill up this walk-in wardrobe. You've also got some windows here you can open up. You can enjoy the views of your garden outside. Let's close those. Stormy day today. I hate to ruin his beautiful shoes. And then here we go. The master bathroom suite. Double vanities. Massive, massive mirror. The pewter finishes here with a brass free standing bathtub filler. But look at this bathtub. You can see out your balcony there. How absolutely stunning is this? Can you imagine lying in here? Bubbles almost overflowing, enjoying this cloudy day in a steaming hot bath. I love it. Then we've got this incredibly large double shower. So there's one shower head there and another shower head there. So you and the missus or the mister or whoever you want, you can face both of those shower heads to yourself and have the most selfish shower you've ever had because that's exactly what I do. But how stunning is that? And also, you take a good look, there's some windows in there. You can enjoy the views of the outside garden as well. So much thought has been put into how this 
bathroom looks, how it feels and how it functions. I love it. Haha, <laughs> we meet again. So you've just walked out of the master bathroom. I've walked out of the master bedroom. Yeah, we've met on this wraparound balcony. You can see the views behind me of the grounds, but also the views on the right hand side are the remainder of Santon, Bryanston. I'm sure you can even see Bryanston High School from here. I love what they've done with this house. Guys, in the comments, let me know what your favorite feature of this house is. But we've got one more thing to do, and that is to say goodbye. So follow me and let's make it memorable. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a four bedroom, four bathroom home for eight and a half million in the heart of Morningside. Guys, I've loved touring this home with you. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite feature is. And also what I'd like to know is let me know where you'd like me to tour next. So let me know that in the comments. Thank you so much for myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property and everybody at the Home Shopper Show. We love you and goodbye. Thank you.